Let's talk about what you can do with your dental cost estimate. You might use it to decide whether to go out of network for your dental care. It might cost you less to use your plan's in-network dentist. You can also use it to negotiate with a dentist if you don't have insurance, or with a non-network dentist if you do have insurance. If your dentist quotes you a much higher charge than the estimate you see on this site, you can try asking for a lower price. Or, you can use it to appeal a plan payment. If your plan pays much less than the estimated level of reimbursement, you can show them your estimate and ask about the difference. Remember, your estimate is just that, an estimate based on average costs in your area, typical dental plan coverage, and information that you provide. Your provider may charge more or less than the cost estimate on this site. Just as different businesses set their own prices, dentists set their own fees, which may reflect their years of experience, specialties, board certifications, and even their office rent and staff salaries. Your dental plan also may pay more or less than the estimates on this site. Your actual costs will depend on your dentist and your plan. So make sure to confirm your coverage and costs with your plan and your dentist before you get services. Review your dental plan documents or contact your plan with any questions. You can usually reach your plan by calling the phone number on the back of your plan ID card. Or, if you have a plan through work, you can talk to your human resources department. To help prepare for that conversation, click on the questions to ask tab or use the Learn tab to read more about dental coverage. If you need help using our site or understanding your estimate, you can always reach out to us. Just click the Contact Us button at the top right of the page to connect with a live agent or to send us an email.